Do you also find it a hassle to plug and unplug your external hard drives when you immediately need just one file? Using the amazing Raspberry Pi, you can create a personal NAS server that will allow you or anyone connected to your network access to your hard drives in just a few simple clicks. In this project, we will use the Raspberry Pi Freebie Plus. A micro SD card with at least 8 gigabytes of storage external hard disk drives to be connected to the Pi a keyboard, a screen and a mouse to interface with the Raspberry Pi during installation we will be using Samba which is a file system that allows Linux to seamlessly integrate within Windows directories. To get started, power up and plug in your Raspberry Pi to the keyboard, mouse and monitor. Fire up terminal and use the update command to update your repositories. Then use the upgrade command to install new versions of existing software on the Pi. Now, to install Samba, use the install command as displayed on screen. Press Y and then enter to confirm the installation. Now, we can use the nano editor by typing the given command in terminal to modify the configurations for Samba. Once the editor opens up, scroll down to the complete bottom of the text. The part in square brackets is the name of the SharePoint. Now copy and paste the text which is available in the description below. Press Ctrl and X, then Y and Enter to save the file. Now we need to create a password for our user Pi and restart the Samba service by typing in the following commands. Now you may connect your external drives to the Raspberry Pi. Once done, we can now move on to our primary Windows computer from where we will access this NAS server. On Windows, open up this PC and then click on Map Network Drive from the taskbar on the top left section of the screen. In the folder field, type in double backward slashes Raspberry Pi backward slash and then your SharePoint name that you chose earlier on. Check connect using different credentials and click on finish. Enter Pi as the username and your chosen password as the password. Click on OK and there you go. You now have access to your hard drives through the NAS server in Windows. If you enjoyed this video or it was useful to you, please let us know in the comments and by liking this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and as always guys, keep dialing pixels.